What up, everybody? It's your boy Smigglesburg. Have you guys ever had this issue before? So you've taken an animation that you made in another software and you've exported it into Clip Studio to do some extra painting or some line work onto it or whatever it is, but you have a flat animation done and you bring it into Clip Studio Paint and you line up your first layer. And then when you go to make your next layer, this happens. Where are the lines? You can't see the line work. Nothing you do will show you the lines. You can see it around the outside of, of where the, the onion skinning is showing up, but you can't see where the onion skin for the lines. And so you struggle, you make some copies or whatever, and you realize the only thing you can do is just kind of go back and forth between the two, kind of like traditional animation. Well, that's not really the way to do it. And I'm gonna show you how. So what you've already done is that you've you made a folder, you made your first animation folder. What you gotta actually do is you have to create another animation folder, like an actual folder, not one of these folders, but an animation folder, which you can do by going down here and clicking on this new animation folder. And that's gonna open up a new animation folder, right? And within there, then you can create yourself a new animation cell now you have an animation cell. Now, before you do anything, what you're going to do is you're going to go control G and now you've made your cell into a group. So now in here, you can take your line work from your first layer down here and you can paste it in here. So now I've got this on top. So now because I've already made two layers, right? So say like I already know I want my line work layer and then I want like a blank layer on top for maybe some extra painting or maybe I need another one for whatever, right? I can add as many layers in here as I want. Now that you've done this, when you go over and you press the new animation cell button, it's gonna make another one and it's gonna duplicate everything that you did in the first one. So you can actually set up all of your layers in advance and then just keep pressing this and add all the layers that you need all the way to cover all of the ones from your original folder, right? And as you can see, the onion skinning works. And so now if I make another one, so say if I wanted to make one for painting, I would just take this again, I would, I would make another animation folder, right? Um, and I would place it in between the, the, the basic lines and the, the, the new line work folder. I placed it in between there and then I would have a painting one so I could do extra painting on top of these forms and then also have the line work on top. And each one is going to show the onion skinning properly now. So that is uh, pretty much, well, that's exactly how you do this and how you get past this problem. And I hope that this helped. I hope that if you were struggling with this, this is like a direct solution to that because it took me a while and I was running into walls because I was like, why is it not working? I have it all on here. As you can see, I already had the layers here and it wasn't working. So this was the answer to that. And I hope that helps. Uh, don't forget to name your layers and stuff. It helps out a lot. I'd never do it. So I'm just trying to tell you so you don't become me. All right. Peace out, y'all. Have a safe one. Bye.